Good morning everyone. It's 7.30 on April the 11th. Welcome to my homestead. I'm Kay. I live on a little over nine acres. If you've uh, just joined my channel for the first time and I promised a garden tour as my next video. So I, I learned a couple of years ago that I cannot do a whole garden tour in one video. It's too much. So today I just focused on the area that I had forest mulched in 2021. It was, I'll take you over there, but from the back of the cistern over, it was all brush. You couldn't take one step in there. It was covered in poison ivy and thorns, thorn trees and everything. And so I had the whole thing cut down and I have just photographed the early wildflowers as well as the medicinal plants that I spotted and my pecan trees coming back and the rain is starting. Okay, take a look and I'll be right back.
So have you ever woken, just 
gotten an idea at midnight, you can't sleep, your mind is all, and you go, oh my gosh, why did I never think of this? So in my last video, I showed you an update of my cistern. It leaks, long story short, has been leaking, but you know, it got more aggressively leaking in the last year. So now it's not holding water. So I had this idea at midnight and I just, I wanted to get up right then, but I don't go outside at night here. And so, you know, I'm gonna have to take this onto the porch because I'm getting rained on, hold on. Okay, that's better. I'm on the porch and it gives me a, <laughs> an opportunity to take a sip of my favorite drink, which is cacao with raw honey in hot water. Mm. So anyway, midnight, I'm still laying there, can't get to sleep, so much on my mind. As you can imagine, <laughs> when you factor in all of your own personal challenges and then the, the, uh, the state of the world, wow, it's, it's something else. So anyway, uh, I realized, or I had this idea that if I went and got my pole that turns the, it goes in the PVC pipe that goes down to my septic system. When I bought the place, I was I was just told this. He said if you there's two lines, two fields, and if you turn it every six months, uh, you'll never have a, a septic problem here. So but since it's just one person, I mean I don't even need to do that, but I, did, I just did it to demonstrate what that pole is for and I thought but there's a valve down there, and it's obviously a bigger valve than fits on that little iron rod that I just showed you. But I couldn't even see down there. You know, first of all, it's, gosh, I guess it's at least six feet down. And so it's probably, I thought I felt the bottom. Anyway, I, my idea was, because I've been struggling with this for three and a half, four years now, I thought if I turn the valve off, because it's always been on the entire time, and it was just a shut off in case I needed to be shut off, but I thought, okay, why haven't you been shutting that off every winter? Now, it's PEX line and it, it is b below the frost line, so that, I don't see how that could be a problem, but it seems like since there is a joint there, it has to be there, and, and my neighbor said, you hope it's on this side, the downhill side of the, of the valve, and not on this side of the valve. Otherwise, I have to empty the cistern again. I've already done that twice. And so I thought, if I could get that turned off, it's gonna rain the rest of the day. And there was a little break in the, in the rain. When I looked at midnight, it said it was solid rain all, I'm gonna get all that rain, and if I could shut off the valve and hold, see if the water built up in the cistern, then I would know Then it's on the other side of the valve and it's just a, an easy fix. So, <laughs> oh, of course, I'm still laying awake at 1.15 thinking about that. And uh, I woke up at 5.20 and, and I said, you know, it wasn't light, of course, and I, I looked at the weather and it said there was a break in the rain from, it said 20 minutes. I was able to walk around for another hour and show you all that. It didn't seem like that long, but it did take that long. So I hope you enjoyed it. You know, it's such a puzzle. <laughs> okay, so if that pipe is, the water level in the pipe is that high, which is much higher than the level of the water inside the cistern, I would think that level is not tied to that body of water, that it's seeking the level of the water that's standing on the ground outside the cistern. I know there's a lot of clever people out there that can help me figure this out. You know, if I was Superman, see, 
I could use my x-ray vision and save myself a lot of money. <laughs> You know, you gotta have a sense of humor about these things because. <laughs> so, thanks so much for your support. Please subscribe, share with friends, click the bell for notifications so you won't miss an episode, and I look forward to seeing you next time. God bless, and out for now.